sippy Cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision And she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign And she boring Love the way you twerk it shawty Throwing money on her own I call it independent shawty For all your energy innovation product needs Make sure you check out driveenergy.com That's D-R-I-V-E Energy.com What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsports 7. We are looking at a stock Veloster Turbo. If you guys didn't check out my last video, make sure you guys check it out. I did take my stock Veloster Turbo out to the track for a track day for Misery Bay Round 1 SCCA Autocross. So I decided to come here on Forza today to compare what I felt when I was driving my car compared to the stock one in the game and then maybe we will modify this one to how I would have it in uh, very soon with a exhaust intake and uh, mild suspension and some really grippy tires so we're gonna head to the track today to compare real versus game because I know how the car reacted so I want to check the basically try the physics out a little bit and see uh, I do have some stickers on there that are not the exact same door numbers as I do have on my real car because the font is down in the game. I didn't feel like spending time to make the font. So unfortunately we were able not to do autocross like I wanted to but we are going to just send the car how it is. So get to see if we can get a good lap time in it and then we will uh, switch up the mods a little bit to what I want to do and see what the difference is. But we're just going to see how this car uh, reacts in a sense like mine see if it reacts like mine did mine did not get as tail happy as that though so physics obviously are going to be a little bit different because this is not a full sim game but we are just uh having a little fun doing some grip racing i forgot i'm on cold tires in this car since i had a blast doing it you know myself in my real car it was a lot of fun make sure you guys check out the video if you haven't checked it out you get to see uh, me sending it at Misery Bay. Actually, the car handles very similar to mine. Very similar to my real car setup. Of course, we are going a lot faster in this track than we were in the track at Misery Bay. And I think we're going to switch it up and do a little uh, first person driving and see about getting a good lap time. And see uh, what we can do when we modify it a little bit. Track racing is definitely something I enjoy doing and it was nice to get back behind the wheel at a track as I pushed a little bit too much was not expecting to push that much back behind the wheel of a car at a track event in real life definitely was a lot of fun in the new car and uh, definitely excited for more this season as uh, the summer months roll in but this car uh, definitely handles a lot different than my car in real life did but, you know, this is not a full sim game. But it is still a lot of fun to send this car. But my main thing is I want to see what the difference in times are going to be with very little mods. And uh, maybe we'll uh, head over to a Rivals Autocross event and see what Autocross event we can do. I know we can't do it in this car, but we will give it a shot in another car so that was not the cleanest fastest run by any means we're going to try and get one good fast run in this car I wish my car uh, rotated like that on her braking for sure because it would have helped in some of those turns but my car being on not super sticky race tires was uh, getting a little bit of a push in the front so had to slow down a little bit or scrub speed off but it was definitely uh, a very good thing to do it in a sanctioned environment and uh, be able to push the car to the limits all right so now we are on a good lap time 
and we will see what we can do differently with some stickier tires, uh, different wheels, lighter wheels, stickier tires, and uh, yeah, my car did do that. Did blow the tires off the front every so often. Like I said, we're going to do very minimal mods to this, like I will be doing to the car. So, lap time with stock, basically just a drop-in air filter and street tires is 118.301. So now we're going to change up the tune on this, and then we're definitely going to head over to some autocross to end this episode off. We're going to restart that. I don't want to go racing in the rain. Not what I want to do right now. I realize it's a little dark in the office right now. I don't have that light on, but you can still see everything, so we're still good. Get a little extra cash, we'll take that. Kind of wish I had this seat in my car when I was racing. I was bouncing around and moving around a lot in the stock seat because don't have harnesses. Definitely going to look into possibly getting some harnesses for that car. Tune and upgrade, upgrade. So we're going to start off with the tires. We are going to go straight to basically race tires because I would be running almost a 200 treadwear race tire in a sense. Uh, we are going to bump the width up as well. I wish I could do 225s, but I will be running 225. So this will kind of give me an idea. And then um, we are looking for... certain kind of wheels there they are rpf ones which are probably the lightest wheels that i could think of that i would like to be getting for the car we will be running 18s but i will be running 17s in real life so then we are going to go to this and we would be doing a sport intake and then a sport exhaust because we would still have a cat on so that, in a sense, is how oh, we would be doing a little bit of suspension. So we're going to probably just do street suspension. Lower it just a little bit. And uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. So we were at a 118 last time. So we're going to see what the difference is. Of course, we're going to have a faster time due to the power adders. But grippier tires are also going to help going into the turns. We are going to be able to carry a little more speed. car doesn't feel that much faster, but the, the turn in is definitely there and the grip level has seriously changed. And that just makes all the difference in especially autocross. Tires make a huge difference in lap times except when you're on cold tires. There was the difference between three seconds faster on some really good tires or more depending on the track. I probably could have picked up at least three seconds of my own if I was on really grippy tires. Hopefully my car sounds a lot louder than this or a lot different than this with an exhaust on it. I Hopefully I get some backfires and some crackles. So out lap, we are looking. So the car does handle very similar to my real car. Um, of course, that this car is getting a little bit more tail happy. And uh, on the out lap, we uh, got a way better time already. So we're gonna try this. Definitely pushing <laughs> these tires kind of to the limit. You can hear them scrubbing off, but trying to be smooth as possible. But like I said, if you guys have never done autocross or tried it before, it's definitely a very fun thing to do. Um, usually the venues that do it make it very hard for you to uh, make a mistake and cause some serious damage to the car in a wrecking aspect. Um, I did pick up two cones when I raced, so, you know, there was no damage to the car. I had a little uh, rubber scuff on the side, which, you know, wiped right off, so 
not a big deal. So definitely a lot faster by a uh, about eight seconds. So definitely there's a huge difference in grip levels. Hopefully I never do that to my real car. So we're going to hop over to autocross for the ending of this episode. Give a autocross a shot and see um, what we have in the rivals for autocross and uh, go from there. So we're here at Homestead Autocross in the Mustang wide body and uh, we're going to see how we do. We're going to make sure we look forward at the next gates ahead of us so we don't get lost or uh, we don't screw up our gates and see if we can uh, beat some of these rivals. Oh, and exactly right there is, I was not looking forward. So, it caused me to have a gate hit and there's two gate hits, which is not looking good for our overall times. I did so much better in real life and it might be because I'm on the third person, I may have to change you and give this another go. This would definitely be a very fun thing to do in real life, a big course setup like this. Ooh, I'm getting squirrely, don't hit the gate, we're good. Surprise, there was not actually any in new gen Mustangs at the track when I went. I think we are way ahead of this rival, but we did have gate hits, so we could still lose. Why well, I pointed right at that one and that one. Definitely not smooth at all. Bet you I probably would do this so much better in a different view. This is a very twitchy track. Very left and right. A lot of slaloms and chicanes. And I wasn't looking forward, but we're still good. Nope. I have a feeling we're still going to lose this event. Even though we are really far ahead due to all those gate hits. These are five second penalty hits. That's a lot. They were two seconds where I was at, so Forza is definitely uh, very power hungry when it comes to uh, gate hits. Let's see if we can't just finish this off a little bit clean. Oh boy. I believe the last time I did autocross on the channel I was using the, uh, the Cobra, the SVT Cobra. I don't think we are going to finish that above the rival we may have. So if you guys enjoyed this episode and you guys want to see more episodes on Forza, make sure you comment down below. I will be doing videos on Horizon 3 going back into Horizon. Going to be getting some tannins with some friends and some uh, other buddies. So look forward to all that as well as other thick games coming to the channel. I want that ZR1. We got to get that ZR1 sooner or later. I think we did beat the rival, though. So, as always, you guys know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. And as always, I'd like to appreciate... I'd like to appreciate... I appreciate all your support. And I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out. Do, do, do.